Cole, I have no sponsorship with combos yet. But these some bitches might be the greatest snack ever invented. I don't even think we need to make seven layer dip ever again. Get some of these. Brought everything I own apparently. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see back behind me, we're not in the boat today. We're not uh, we're not even catfishing today, which is different from my channel. Apparently that's all I do anymore. No, we're bass fishing at this pond. You've seen me fish here a few times before and I thought I'd mix it up. You guys were telling me you want more bank fishing content. So we're gonna give you more bank fishing content, but we just walked down to the water. It's crystal freaking clear. And another thing, guy caught a nine pounder here this spring. So I'm throwing big baits. I'm throwing my new six. I got a new package of stuff. I got some new baits you guys have never seen before. And I got some news you guys are gonna wanna hear. Some very exciting news, some very new products for cheap. I'll tell you a little bit. And I am about to catch some fish on this sexy new bluegill color. I know there's a lot of bluegill in here. The water's clean, we got a ripple. And it's probably like 40 degrees, so. Definitely wanted to uh, give the old bluegill jerk and stick a try. And I might as well take another rod with me. I think I'm gonna take old Mr. Slides, Slides Wimmer with me. Look at that thing. I finally got the old flash carp color. I've been waiting for so god dang long. I'm gonna stand over here on the dock like a child, rip some lamps. This dude here has like the sickest pad ever. I don't know if you can see that at all. Check this out though. We got a little fire pit with the that's the most badass fire pit i've even seen i haven't started fishing yet and i got a chub all right meester nine pound her show yourself so this whole lake's got a lot of good grass in it and then it's kind of just like a bowl the whole way around there is some rock over there we're gonna hit that there's an island and then there's standing timber but um you know let's throw the jerk and stick around a little bit see if we can't trick one i'm definitely going to throw that slide swimmer even though i prefer that in a little bit warmer water because you know it's traveling side to side might need a little bit more aggressive of a fish to make that happen but it's just two perfect conditions right now for jerk bait so we're gonna get to jerking damn that's clean Are those bluegill right there? Yeah, I think there's a big school of bluegill. Are those, dude, I can't tell what those are, but they're not, I think they might be. Oh, dude, what are those? Those are big. They might be big crappie. They're looking at this guy pretty close. I got that, uh, I think I got my crappie box with me. Ooh, yeah, that was a crappie, wasn't it? I gotta catch one of those. BRB. Cole, you're a crappie fishing expert. I made that up. I don't know if you ever catch crappie, but if you were a crappie, maybe that guy with like a, it's pretty clean water. It is pretty clean water. Let's give this a try. You like the white better? I don't know. Don't keep it to yourself if you like the white better. He's I'll put got it a broken on. tail, so probably. Yeah, not. he's got the little tail problem. Jointed tail. <laughs> jointed, yeah. It's not broken, it's jointed. All right, going with the uh, old smoky type guy. I officially have zero live bait. Oh, that's what I probably should have used, one of them wax worms. This just turned into a crappie fishing video. Be patient, guys. We're going to catch some bass, too. But holy shit, those craps looked fun to catch, mostly because I could see them and they looked really stupid. All right, you little dickhead crappies. It's time to give you my, my smoke minnow type guy thing. They're probably gone. Nope, they are not gone. <laughs> they are right there. Would you look at that? Killing his craps. All right, so they're not giant crappy, but they're definitely edible. I'm gonna have to make a second video today using one of these guys as bait coal. I bet we could catch that nine pounder on Mr. Crappy. I told you guys we'd catch one. Let's see if we can catch two or 10. The school's definitely not here anymore. Oh, there's another one. Where'd he go? Maybe I should have gone with white. Did I just find the dumbest one on the entire lake or what was the deal? Apparently. Oh, there's some out here. I just missed the school. They moved. Is it too big for him or what? That one looked big. I bet there's some giants. That one came up and crushed it. Did you just see that? It was like, dong. It's 
like ice fishing. Just wiggle it in their face. Raise them a little bit. And Kerplow, he crushed it. Oh, there's more. You can see the school by this dock. This is so cool. Nice bass fishing video we got here, Cole. We're on a good dock pattern here. Oh. I mean, none of them are giant, but they are, uh, they would definitely be of the edible variety. And they're definitely, they're, they're small enough that they're probably 11 inches or so that uh, we could use them for bait on a bobber or something. But we'll come back to those guys. We're going to go try to catch some Slanchosaurus. It's been real, it's been real craps. Well, came over to some tree situations here, guys. It's cold. Like I said, water's like 40. So we're going to put on a secret little weapon. And this is when I start talking about what I'm real excited for, and that is these guys. It's a secret. I don't think I'm supposed to be telling you guys this, but they are now available at sixcentsfishing.com. You guys saw me use these some bitches, me and the Zark for giant small jaws, but this some bitch can be a great flipping bait. And I caught fish in the creeks, bite them down a little bit, caught fish in the creeks in the Ozarks. As a jig trailer and since we got pretty much bluebird skies got a little bit of wind but cold I'm biting that guy down to like basically a chunk a little beaver situation and we're gonna flip it in these trees and let them just glide down but not only are these guys available the black friday sale is starting right now at sixcentsfishing.com which is 20 percent off everything except the soft plastics and guess what the soft plastics are now restocked as well, including some of these guys coming out. Now, I usually tell you guys, you use promo code MF10 and you get stuff cheaper than you can get anywhere else. I'd be lying if I told you that this time, although use that in the future. But for Black Friday, go use BF20, 20% on everything except soft plastics. Limited supplies of all the plastics are in stock. Oh, there's a fish, God dang it. Bob Saget Cole. Anyways. <laughs> limited supplies of these guys are in stock and if you wait until cyber monday you might be doing something a little special with the soft plastics but i would go buy them up now to be honest since um there's limited supplies and they sold out in like three days last time thanks to umfers i'm gonna shut up and catch some fish on now i'll show you guys why you should buy them i want to hook that nine pounder damn it should be easy enough I gotta get out to those ones towards the opening. I think that's where they're at, Cole. That's gotta be it. Last time I was here, we took that little crawdad boat and they dropped me on the island and I fished out there the whole time and I smoked them. I got a feeling they're just gonna be stacked somewhere. Hopefully not randomly in the middle of the lake. I'm gonna catch that one now, Cole. Wow, big fighter here. He almost knew he was hooked. Oh, that's Stunt Ed. That's the problem, this is Ed. Stunt Ed, the paper guy. I don't know if I hooked him. I think I just pinned him and pulled him in the whole time. Hey, old Mr. P-Ron got her going. Inbred jig. Oh, I love that color. It's like a PBJ Magic, I think it's called. Inbred jig. All right, we're on the board. That's not the one we want. We're gonna get a donk now. Like I said, nine pounder was caught. And I saw these trees in the background, so I know it was right here. Fishing here till tomorrow, till we catch him. Yep, there's one. I just lied to you, Cole. Ooh. Solid one, too. On the old jerk stick. Oh God, he got it sideways. Cole, I just had to say there's no fish in this spot. And look at that on the old blue gel guy. I think he might've wanted that. Look at that. I was just thinking like, man, this is the coolest colored jerkbait of all time, but I can't seem to freaking get him to eat it. Papow, we got a three and a half pounder. So we fished this whole area and there's like a ditch, but there's no wind blowing on it back there. Right back behind here, we got wind blowing on it. So first solid fish of the day. He's eating a little bit better. I like it. Jerkbait fish. See, bud. That guy just like, he had it. And I was like, oh, I'm stuck in the grass. Nope. That's just a big lethargic wand wallowing around with a big bluegill jerk and stick in his mouth. That's like one of the best feelings when they're fighting hard because their mouth is penned open because they T-boned it straight across. And it's prying their mouth open. 
dragging a trash bag through the water. I'm moving kind of quick too, because I think that the main lake's gonna be more the deal with the wind blowing and the clear and super cold. Set my backpack down on this coon poop right here. Woo! So maybe slingshot into my mouth. We'll see. I guess I was gonna go here. Let's try it. Look at this little jiggy guy. It's by Zach's. Now it's impossible to see. And I didn't get it. Damn it, okay, I get it, Cole. What did we win? It's not six cents. Yay. It's like an old school Arky white. Oh. One of them ran out and got it. I don't know if the whole school's there anymore, but we're coming up and looking at it. We need the chartreuse. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. And I'm just killing them. Dude, chill, 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 chill. Okay. I'm gonna play rough. I'll play rough too. All right, we're back to the dock. I'm about to retie some stuff, but I really wanted to dick around with these crappies some more because, you know, they're easier to catch. <laughs> and they fight really hard, which makes them very fun and sporting cool. That one even turned over during the fight. This guy's been caught 300 times this week. Big ad. I'm an expert, Cole. I'm a master crappy fisherman. Um, All right, catch some. I need to tie some shit on. Got a babe, Cole? Oh, you got a dog. That's a bit. Oh, just... Dude, look at my legs. I'm grass seed guy again. Those are never coming out ever. So we've made our way around the entire little pond and we've had two bites in the trees and one bite over there on a little dredged out deeper bank. But we've been around the whole thing. We can like see the bottom of the lake. Like we can see out as far as we want and make casts out as far as we want nothing. We've kind of decided since I've fished lakes like this before, especially when it's cold, the water's like 40 right now, like it is all over the place. They're probably out there somewhere yonder way. I know there's a lot of fish in here, so. They're probably hiding there. I'm not ruling out the trees yet either. We might go back over there for a little bit. But basically, I decide I think we're gonna put a bunch of baits on. We can cast as far as we can and see if something will eat it. Um, so I just put this prawn on a Texas rig. So we'll fire that some bitch as far as we can. We got the underspin action. A little underspin with the swim bait on it. Heavier underspin, three eight ounce I think, so we can fire it. Snatch another really good lipless crank bait. We'll kind of just throw it out there and pull it up off the bottom and then. If I'm feeling frisky, we'll throw this guy too. We're catching crappie this color and this size. So that might be a good idea too, but we need to get to chucking with the wind off the dock, old grandpappy's dock and see what happens. Yeah, that's probably far enough to do something if it's gonna happen. First cast with the lipless. Yeah, bud. Clobbered it. My theory might be right, Cole. They might just be on the bottom. Sweet. He's not big, but he's beautiful coming out of that clean water. Just pulsing it off the bottom. It's one of my favorite things to do this time of year. I'll take him today. It's gonna be it's <laughs> not gonna be. It has been a tough bite. We can do better. Yep. Cole says no pictures. I like to take a picture for social media every time I catch one over two or three inches. Cole says no dice. We're doing better. Here comes better, guys. They'll probably eat that underspin, dude. Mm -hmm. And you can fish that faster than the prawn. So that uh, 
that real, the Anna Reverse likes to not work on it when it gets really cold. So when you set it, you might want to hold on to the handle or you might have issues. There we go. Oh, that was a better one. Piss balls. Yeah, it was a long skinny one again. They definitely seem to be relating a lot more to just right out here, the edge. Not necessarily as far as you can cast. Hey, bluegills. Little large mouths. Got him. I was gonna say, that felt like a damn bite. Right on that drop off, Cole. Yeah, minimum nine. Might be like an 11. They do fight hard because they don't know the drill. Man, that's like the only thing we can get bit on. I lost my other snatch, but look at that pretty guy. Pretty snatch. Beauty. I'll take him today. Well, not much to this little guy, but let's watch him swim away. That's, that's not a way. Don't make me get down there in the water. <laughs> what a release shot. Dummy? Nope. Oh, there he goes. Well, we're standing over there on the dock earlier, catching them right on this drop off. It drops from like, I don't know, probably five feet down to like 15. That's what that one is. We've been fishing this whole freaking thing, trying to repeat that and no dice. I don't know what the deal is, but they don't like the camera, apparently. Well, here we are, back to the good old dock. I think every fish except for like one or two, I guess we did catch jerkbait fish. We caught a jig with prawn fish, uh, but it's been on the snatch. I caught a couple um, on the other color, then I got snagged in this dock pool because I'm brain dead. And I don't know, I like to get snagged on stuff. But I was just telling Cole, like, we're fishing these breaks, but I'm not fishing it the way a lot of people usually fish a lipless crankbait, which is, you know, keeping it moving, making contact with grass, ripping out of the grass. This is actually the way I fish it when it's super cold. Like I doubt the water's even 40 degrees. It might be 38 degrees. And all I do is I cast it down a break or a hot spot that I think that the fish are in that we've been catching them or a ditch or I don't know, definitely not around any timber or anything like that, or even rock works well, any hard spots. And I just let it go to the bottom, tighten my line up and just one little pulse. Move your rod about a foot to two feet, let it sink back down, pulse it back up and let it fall. And the fish usually will eat it as it's settling back down to the bottom. And like I was telling Cole, there's a bunch of muck and shit on the bottom. So if you got lakes that are like that, this is a good way to fish it because not only are you getting the fish's attention with that super tight vibration, but you're ripping it through a little bit of that muck too. A little bit better than if you were dragging a jig or something like that, or just a straight slow roll. And this has been just the tip. Mm-hmm. Look at you. Just needed the old chartreuse guy on there. So the master. Wild over there. That's a, not a bad one either. I'm tying on crappie stuff. We only have one spinning rod, so I'm tying it on my bait casting rod. We've resorted to catching the dock craps. She is cool. Those don't count. We haven't started yet. Okay. Deal. Actually, mine from earlier count though, so I'm up like eight. Oh, I think I have one. My rod's a little long. Yes, I did. Alright. It's official. They don't like shit that looks real. Yeah, I'm putting yours on, Cole. God dang it. Bob Saget. Dude, they definitely like that freaking bright color so much better than a natural swim bait looking guy. Crap Masters Classic, I killed another one. It's funny because it's like if one comes over and looks at it, then like 20 of them follow. You don't even really need to do anything with it. They almost like it better when you don't move it. Nope, here comes his friends. That one crushed it. They look way bigger underwater. <laughs> 
like, whoa, that one's a big one. No, never mind. Yeah. Craps. Dock craps. That guy liked it. That guy liked it. Yeah. He looked exceptionally large underwater. He's not. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to catch a bass. A couple more casts and then get the f out of here. All right, last cast. Okay, good day on the pond. I mean, tough day on the pond. We couldn't hardly catch anything with the water so freaking cold. And that's probably what you guys got going on a lot right now. But um, the baits we did catch them on, definitely stand by. Let's go throw a jerk bait around. Let it pause. Let it sit there. Rip a lipless up off the bottom really nice and gently. And then uh, flip around with it with a jig. Drag a jig. Flip a jig. Even put one of these guys in the back since they are finally freaking available. I've been telling you guys about this bait. This is like my favorite ever flipping bait that's ever been created and it was just created just recently and now it is finally available at sixcentsfishing.com go get the black friday sale go get in on that you can even get this shirt right here 20 percent off and this guy right here even though the plastics aren't gonna be a part of it like i said look out on monday for the uh, the old cyber monday deals coming but hopefully these are still around if not i'm sorry you should have got them sooner but i'll link everything we use down below in the video more adventures coming soon it's supposed to have like so much freaking snow in the forecast I don't know if we're going to try to go ice fishing out of town. We're going to head south. We've been talking about this, myself and Cole, the whole trip back and this morning and trying to figure out what to do. Do you guys want to see me, one, go to Texas, do some power plant, open water fishing, rip some largemouth lips, or two, go back and do some ice fishing? And unfortunately, I think we're going to have to do a lot of similar ice fishing, which isn't unfortunate because it's trophy freaking trout and stuff like that, potentially even some big walleye in the same area. Um, because up north, it sounds like a lot of the ice has gone bad too. We don't really want to drive all the way to freaking northern everything. But those are the two options. Let us know what you guys want to see moving forward. But, um, yeah, I got work to do because we got one more trip or two more trips in the boat before we make that trip. And, uh, I got some, I got some hooks to put on my replenishment of the old blades because we're going after old big tomorrow or the next day. I don't know, but thanks so much for watching this one. I'm at first.